the electric trams run out of juice, hasn't it? So that gas station next to us, that's not going to do us any good. These newfangled electric trams! But y'all know that was a fake shark, right? Especially my guy in the gray hoodie. Yeah, fourth car. I can hear you screaming, man. <laughs> it's okay, no judgments. Fake shark, though, prove it to you. Only shark in the world that can do the backstroke. Back to one. <laughs> okay, real Michael Phelps we got here. Now, in your defense, that mechanical shark, it worked better for us, okay, than the original did. The original mechanical shark, I said they filmed out at Martha's Vineyard. The salt water corroded the mechanics. They had so many issues that they actually had to delay the release of the film. The shark itself sank to the bottom of the Atlantic Ocean, y'all. But because of all of those delays, uh, they were going to release it in the winter, but released it in the summer to accidentally become the very first ever summer blockbuster. The shark is not working. The shark is not working. We just waited around. We just waited and waited and waited. The shark worked well enough for a while there and so I really owe the shark a lot. We also owe a whole lot to the film's editor, Verna Fields. She understood fear not seeing the thing, the anticipation, more terrifying. But a lot to see in this area as we head up the hill to the left. You'll catch a glimpse of our Elm Street. No relation to Nightmare Hub, but we did film things like Parenthood and Hancock down that way. The Yellow House, that's Boo Radley's house and To Kill a Mockingbird. Up the hill here to the right, our Chicken Ranch. Got its name from Best Little Whorehouse in Texas, Dolly Park. Also seen a Shout, House of a Thousand Corpses. Uh, the reboot to Quantum Leap and the original in 93. Now we're going to continue on up this hill here, folks, and uh, we're going to be passing by one of the other residential sets that we have here today, and we're only going to be seeing the entrance of it. It's officially designated as our Colonial Street here to the left. Ted has been filming down that way recently. Uh, but Colonial Street, for my Desperate Housewives fan, yes, we are now uh, passing by Wisteria Lane. And since we're not seeing it here today, uh, for my Desperate Housewives fan, pop on an episode of Never Have I Ever on Netflix. You're going to recognize it as the exact same street. Davy's house in that series is Susan Delfino's house. They're both yellow, though they do look slightly different. Uh, why am I talking about a street you will not see here today? Well, the street we're on right now, the one you are seeing, it's, it's not that much more exciting. Welcome to the middle of nowhere, y'all. And really, this is the middle of nowhere in some ways. Universal, we have 400 acres, lots of land. Some of it we don't do anything with, and it's a set. Though, because of how large we are, uh, there is a wildlife ecosystem out here, including uh, 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 deer. The deer crossing signs are real. We used to have the uh, 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 P-22 mountain lion come out here every now and again, and uh, uh, coyotes. It's true. In fact, we were, I was told the other day we have North America's largest coyote pack, so <laughs> keep a lookout for me, could you? <laughs> Facing the other way. Okay. Uh, we filmed out here as well, though. Uh, Netflix's Bird Box did so. Fox's 911 as well. They flipped a couple of cars and a whole mudslide down this way. We love flipping cars at Universal. After all, we are the creators of the Fast franchise. So let's show you some more cars, shall we? In fact, you are going to see some of the Fast vehicles, including Dominic Toretto's 1970 Dodge Charger out this way. Uh, you'll also see the Mini Cooper from the classic British comedy series, Mr. Bean. Tucked in the back corner, there's Bumblebee next to a Decepticon. And here in the front, the Smith Piano Service. Oh, brother, where art thou? One of my favorite uh, Cohen Brother movies. But uh, sad to say, all of these vehicles here today, they are currently missing their, their owners. It's because their owners thought it would be a good idea to check into a motel, and that motel happened to be owned by quite a psycho. Welcome to the Bates Motel, folks, from the film Psycho, directed by Hitchcock. Oh, they do have a vacancy. Anybody need a motel room? Get away from the in-laws for the week? Yeah, okay, fantastic. We'll go ahead and get you check. Oh, there you go. He looks a little nervous. Okay, you know, we're, we're, we'll, we'll wait till he's done with whatever he's doing to check you guys in. I think, I think we should actually go. No, I don't think we should be here anymore. <laughs> I don't know how he hasn't seen us or heard us, but he hasn't. 
And maybe if we just quietly roll on out of here, he just saw us. Hey, Norman. No, we didn't see it. No, we're just, we're going to go, Gladys. We're going to go. Okay, bye. <laughs> yeah. Oh, Gladys, we're not going fast enough. Gladys, we are not going fast enough. Cut off the fourth car. Sacrifice the fourth car. We don't need them. They're slowing us down. Oh, my goodness. They're still here. That's awkward. Now, I said it was a joke. <laughs> Here's another one for you. As we head up our psycho path, the original psycho house built a three-quarter scale smaller to make that guy more intimidating. Not that you need the help. To this day, Norman's mother. Top left-hand window of the house just, you know, dying to see us. Oh. oh. <laughs> Thought that joke was a disaster like I did. Check out the next oh set. Crash God. site set of War of the Worlds. Directed by Spielberg. Now, despite everything I've said on the tour here today, that plane there on the left, that is a real plane of 747. Now, the production bought it from a junkyard in the Mojave Desert. It cost them about 60 grand, which, when you think about it, not a bad price for a plane. <laughs> Cost of 200 grand to get it here, though. Yeah, shipping and handling. <laughs> and they had to drive it out here in flatbed trailer trucks, cut it up into the four separate sections that you see. Cut off the top with a wooden fit under the underpasses. They were actually going to reattach it originally, but Steven Spielberg had a look at it, loved it, decided to make it look like the aliens in it instead. The genius of a filmmaker like Steven Spielberg. And he's not the only genius filmmaker we've been working with. Recently, we've been teaming up with Academy Award winner Jordan Peele, and in just a few moments, we get to return back to some of the original sets from his recently released film, Nope. Well, you'll have to see our movie to answer that one. Until then, I hope you enjoy your visit to Jupiter's Clay. Movie magic only happens when a team of collaborators, often in the hundreds, work together to take an impossible mission and bring it to life. This is Jupiter's Clay, a nostalgic, small-time, Southern California amusement park owned by former child star Ricky Jupe Park. Look into the winking well and have your picture taken just like the kids in that old 90s movie Kids Share. That's what this whole place is loosely based on. Remember that one? No? Why? A little further down, you can see the brand new Star Lasso experience. Built to showcase an unbelievable new live show. It's not looking so wild. Anyway, behind this Hollywood fantasy, We showed you here today on the studio tour. We're coming near to the conclusion of our experience, but we're feeling as though you guys have become true movie making experts. So we got one more thing we want to do with you: make a short film. Our short film, Fast and the Furious Supercharged. Now, as always, please remain seated. In the glasses, you will need them, but not yet. I promise. I will tell you when to put those on. Otherwise, I'll let the cast, the crew, the family take it away. Lights, camera, action. Look, this might be more serious than I thought. What just happened? This is a secure line. Who are you? I'll tell you who I am, boy. I'm the reason bad guys use a nightlight. I'm the reason the boogeyman begs his mama to look under his bed. And I'm the reason you just lost control of this whole operation. My name is Special Agent Luke Hobbs of the U.S. Diplomatic Security Service. And as of 16.972, I'm a man in charge. Now you are. Let me clue you in on 
I just, um, I just parked my car here this morning and I don't see it anywhere. That's, that's not good. Where's my car? What was that? You want me to stop talking on the microphone? Why? Oh, so I don't accidentally get on oh, Sean is his attention. No, that, that makes sense. What? It's too late? Whoops. Which one of you is the witness? Speak now or you all get fried! This is our turn. Get away! Follow me! Oh, 
no idea you could drive like that! Woo! Congratulations, folks. You all just survived Supercharged and the Studio Tour. That's right. It's now time for us to head back to the theme park from whence we came. Universal, it's been making movies for over a century, folks. We really hope you enjoyed the behind-the-scenes look. Now, this time, if we could, let's please give a nice, big round of applause for our driver, Gladys, here. We could not have done this to her without her. So thank you. Very much, Gladys. Now, uh, folks, my name, it was Alec. I was your tour guide here today. I'll be standing in the theme park for just a moment, uh, just to wave goodbye to each and every one of you. But for you folks, the last shot of our day, we call it the martini shot. And your martini shot, coming up over here to the right-hand side, the beautiful San Fernando Valley. You'll see our studio right below us, Warner Brothers Studio beyond that, ABC Disney Animation beyond that, Hollywood in the making. Oh, look, there's Ikea. Now, folks, again, I will be standing in the theme park for a moment by the studio directory. The studio directory, that's where the show times and the wait times are posted. If you want those in your pockets, though, download the Universal Studios Hollywood app. Get you all the up-to-date information right then and there. We also don't print out maps anymore, so it's really your only chance for a map. So, really, it is your best tool for today. If you are asking me, Jurassic World, that's the ride to ride. Water World is the show to see. Stick to the worlds, and you are in for a treat here this holiday season. Uh, we should be pulling into the station, I do believe, right about now. That's right, folks. Now, as you exit our tram, do just make sure you watch your step as you exit the tram. We got bins for those 3D glasses. Put the 3D glasses in there, not your real ones. Happens more often than you think. Uh, otherwise, folks, uh, on behalf of NBC Universal, we hope you enjoy the studio tour. We hope you enjoy the rest of your day here at Universal Studios Hollywood, the entertainment capital of L.A. Have a happy holidays. As they say in the biz, that's a wrap. I think it's time to hit the road, Jack. Thank you so much. And uh, if I hit the road, I just mean remain seated for a moment because there's a tram next to us. One of two things are going to happen, folks. Just be patient with us for one. And just remain seated until they open up those gates. Alrighty, folks. So I think we're going to be opening up these gates with the.